this is basically what set Rocco down the path initially of studying law, codes and statutes and regulations and all all this menagerie of misery that they instill upon us and, you know, seeking remedy out of the situation where, you know, he never had a chance in the first place because of the special drawing rights that come from the IMF that basically give the woman all the rights and the man is uh, there just to be a money pot to be redistributed. The Vi. And that's how it's always been. Now it's the Sesu K Vi and the Sesu K Use. The Use is a female, of course. She's a useful idiot for the Confederated State. And um, she will be held accountable. There has been an order directed out of... Uh, the United States court, uh, allowing them to back out, of course. Um, this order is, of course, uh, Robert Richard versus Carlene Deanne Larson and her husband, Kenosha Civil Court, Department of Children and Family Services, State of Wisconsin, County of Kenosha, State of Illinois, Lake County, McHenry County, Mary K. Wagner, Robert Zaff, Department of Corrections, Department of Justice, and, of course, the Association of Corporate Counsel. These matters having come before the United States Court on January 16, 2014. This court is understood as evidenced and acknowledged by the U.S. Department of State, John, For John Forbes Carey, Vice President of the United States Incorporated, Joseph Biden, President of the Senate. United States of America, Senate and House of Representatives, Ed, Ed Perlmutter, House of Representatives, Central Intelligence Agency, Jim Hines, House of Representatives, John Boyner, House of Representatives, and J. Rockefeller Senate, Department of Commerce, on behalf of the aforementioned defendants. Carlene Deanne Larson did make and prompt to be made false allegations to secure her financial stability by garnering child hostages in the action of bail within the action of genocide, as directed by her husband, the state of Wisconsin, county of Kenosha, Department of Children and Family Services, Mary K. Wagner, Kenosha County, Wisconsin, Prosecuting Attorney Robert Zaff, Kenosha County Civil Court, Department of Corrections, as commissioned by the Department of Justice under the Judiciary 28 U.S.C. Code, where an oath to discharge congressional bankruptcy has not been fulfilled as per 28 U.S.C. subsection 453, evidencing bank and bankruptcy fraud as per Westminster, as interpreted by 12 U.S.C. subsection 73 and 18 U.S.C. subsection 1344. On or about June 1st, 2009, Carlene Deanne Larson did abrogate the contract of marriage as evidenced by her works and actions. Number one. Arlene Lars Deanne Larson did abrogate the contract of marriage by entering into a union with aforementioned defendants. Number two, by which to be made financially secure by her new husband, continuing these efforts until she had redistributed the Larson estate to her new husband through action, through which succession did occur. The bonds of matrimony enabling courtesy estate are and have forevermore dissolved. Carlene Deanne Larson has since been renounced, disavowed, and Robert Richard discharge of any tax, duty, impost, obligation, bond, covenant, or otherwise as the vice so measured. Carlene Deanne Larson is an artificial creation known as the use. Carlene Deanne Larson is a sole product and property in whole and in part of her creator, whom she calls father within patriotism by action of atonement. From Black's Law Dictionary, first edition, a turn in feudal law to transfer or turn over to another. Where a lord alienated the signery, he might, with the consent of the tenant, and in some cases without a turn, to transfer the homage and service of the latter to the alienee or new lord. In modern law, to consent to the transfer of a rent or reversion, a tenant is said to a turn when he agrees to become the tenant of a person to whom the reversion has been granted. See a tournament. Carlene Deanne Larson, without government, and a turn, bankrupt and depraved, is to be held, kept, and maintained as product of the United States Incorporated as per order, custom, law, and agreement. By the evidence, Carlene Deanna Larson is married by aforementioned contracted state to defendants listed herein and shall be the responsibility of her husband and chosen landlord. In the meantime, Carlene Deanna Larson is found by the evidence to have unlawfully kidnapped interstate 
by fraud and otherwise for financial gain, seven minor children, and has since actively maintained criminal enterprise by extortionate means evidenced by her works. And this is signed by, of course, the judge of the United States Court, certified by the clerk. Now, in this, I know that it's hard to wrap your mind around at times because of, of the illusion that's been created. If your wife or your husband, by the evidence, is not married to you and has turned on you by which to financially secure themselves in the action of a unity with the state, you are not responsible for that product under the uh, laws of the exchequer. Under the laws of the exchequer, the husband is responsible for the care and maintenance of the entity at Mary's. And by her works, Carlene Deanne Larson is married to the state. 